Satnam Yogis. Welcome to Yoga School. Thank you for subscribing. We're about to practice the Kundalini Kriya. Sit with a straight spine, close your eyes, roll them upward and inward to the third eye. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And as you exhale, relax inside, enter the sacred space of the heart. Prepare yourself to practice Kundalini Yoga, this Raj Yoga. It's a royal lineage of masters that have passed these Kriyas down to us. So receive this Kriya with an open heart. You're going to tune in with Om Namo Guru Dev Namo to prepare yourself for this Kriya. Inhale deeply to tune in. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Namo Holding your breath in and setting your intention. Create your highest vision for yourself and crystallize it and manifest it. Project your vision, your intention from your third eye now. Communicate with the universe what it is you are manifesting. If you don't know what you want, you can't create it. So be, figure it out now. Manifest, project, create everything you've always dreamed of. Exhale, relax, lie down onto your back. Let's begin Kundalini Kriya. Stretch your legs out, place your hands down beside your body, palms facing down. Inhale deeply and lift your arms up to 60 degrees and then hold the arms at 60 degrees, holding the breath in. Keep holding your breath in. Your arms are still at 60 degrees. Just hold the breath. Keep your arms in position and exhale. Inhale deeply and raise your legs to 60 degrees for three counts. Exhale down. Keep your arms in position. Inhale deeply and raise your legs back up to 60 degrees and hold. Arms are 60 degrees, legs are 60 degrees and you are holding your inhale. Plug into your navel point, the center of power, your core abdominals, your lower spine, everything is locked. And meditate inward at your third eye. Keep stretching to 60 degrees. Press the toes forward, hold the heels together. Hold the position, exhale. Take a deep breath in and hold the pose. Just hold. Point your toes, heels together. Stretch your fingertips. 60 degrees for the legs and the arms. Stretch. Hold the navel. Exhale and relax. Moving into the next exercise, you're on your back, relaxing. Raise one shoulder up off the mat without moving the body. 
and then repeat with the other shoulder and do this four times. This will stimulate the heart. When you complete four repetitions, hug your knees into your chest, roll yourself up, come to sit with your legs stretched out. Bring one knee to the chest and raise the other leg outstretched 12 inches or one foot above the earth. Begin to swing this leg in a 180 degree arc from the hip for one minute. Just swing that leg in a 180 degree arc from the hip. Keep the other knee bent to the chest. Keep that leg stretched up off the ground and open up the energy through the leg, into the hip, into the base of the spine. You're just moving energy. You're directing the Shakti, the Prana, the flow of your energy through your body. Stay connected, keep your spine straight, breathe from your navel, commit yourself to the exercise. Great, come back to center, inhale, stretch, exhale, relax and switch legs. And now begin to move that leg in an arc 180 degrees from the hip, keeping the legs stretched up off the ground, feel comfortable, in this position, pull the navel, keep yourself elongated, eyes closed, let the energy move. Feel that breath of life flowing through you, through your exercise. Stay balanced and centered. Inhale, stretch and hold. Exhale, relax. And switch legs, repeat on the other side. We will do one more round on each side. Long, deep breathing, stay within. Roll your shoulders back away from your ears. Keep moving the stretched leg in a 180 degree arc from the hips. The other knee is bent, foot flat, stabilizing you. Come back to center, inhale, stretch, exhale, relax. Switch for the final round. Extend the leg, last repetition. Breathe as you move this leg in a 180 degree arc from your hip. If you can't make it to 180 degrees, that's okay. There's no judgment. It's whatever feels comfortable for you, whatever you can do. Take yourself into a meditation as you move this body. Go beyond any blocks, any patterns that you have in your body that feel restrictive and tight. Breathe into those areas and give yourself a stretch, a release. And come back to center, inhale, stretch. Exhale, relax. Moving into rock pose for the next exercise, kneeling, spine straight, hands on the knees. Begin to move your body with a strong and fast spinal flex. Keep your chin in alignment, your neck long, and move the spine between the shoulder blades. Your spine is awakening. So shift the energy from the base all the way up to the top of the spine with deep breaths. Inhale, chest forward, spine forward. Exhale, round the back.
moving your heart forward and back radiate this energy inhaling sat exhaling nam powerful movement go deep within yourself and shift energy that is the purpose of kundalini yoga you've come here on this mat to transform your own energy to release your own blocks, to let go of the neurosis. To... Inhale back to centre, stretch your spine, hold, stay within, exhale. Inhale your arms up parallel to the floor, palms facing down. Begin the spinal flex now in this position. Arms extended, elbows straight, palms facing down, keep the arms parallel to the ground and move your spine. Strong arms. Radiate your energy from your heart in all directions. Breathe the spine, awaken this energy field. Use this exercise to shift kundalini energy up your spine. It's dormant, it needs to be awakened. These are the exercises that will awaken this energy. Your creativity, your sexuality, your sensuality, your infinite potential. Awaken that. Do this exercise with that awareness. Strong breath. Inhale, sat, exhale, nam. Meditate on the sounds. The sounds of the true self. Truth is my identity. Sat means true. Nam means you. Work with these seeds in your exercises. They take you into that realm of awareness. Come back to center, inhale, stretch the spine up, hold the breath. Squeeze Mula Band, rectum, sex organ and navel, hold the lock. Exhale, relax your hands down. Still in rock pose, now lean back onto your forearms and your elbows and stretch your spine back. Support yourself, keep your navel locked. This ensures that you're not collapsing into your lower back. Weight is in your elbows and shoulders are stretching away from the ears. Now extend your neck and begin to do neck rolls. This is for your thyroid. Inhale as you open your throat, roll your head back. Exhale forward, chin to chest. Long deep breaths, gentle circles of your neck to open up the thyroid, the throat chakra and give yourself that feeling of a whole new head. This is where there's blocks shifting in your neck and your head. So hold that feeling in your head. And keep yourself engaged at your third eye.
Now reverse the direction. Long, deep breathing, gentle movements of your neck. Open up into your head. Stay back. Let the light shine into your head. Let the Kundalini go up through the thyroid into the glands of the head. Come back to center, inhale and exhale, slowly rise up. Come to lie down on your back, stretch your legs out, arms beside the body, palms facing up. Begin alternate shoulder lifts, the same as that previous exercise, but this time do it fast with a breath of fire speed. This is the best exercise for the heart. Alternate shoulders up, shrug them up off the mat without moving the rest of the body, just the shoulders need to move. Do this with devotion to your heart. It's like a rapid movement. Stimulate the energy of the heart now. The rest of the body just relaxes. It's just the shoulders. Shift energy, shift the blocks. Awaken to your heart. And relax. Come onto your stomach for the next exercise sequence. Lie down on your stomach and stretch your arms forward and create Venus lock. Interlock your fingers, left thumb over right for women, right thumb over left for men. Extend your legs back behind your body. Stretch your legs up off the mat and lift your head up. And begin breath of fire. Strong breath of fire, pump the navel. Keep your arms and your hands on the ground. Just the head and the legs are extended. With breath of fire, keep lifting up. Hold the power in your body, physical strength, physical vitality. You've got to break through the blocks and the laziness in this exercise. Pump your navel, open your nostrils, breath of fire. It's a strong breath. Cleanse through the bloodstream now with this oxygen. As you exhale through your nose, pump your navel toward your spine. Use this breath of fire to cleanse your bloodstream. Navel is moving. Pump energy through the body now. Expand yourself. Do this exercise to your full capacity. Don't hold back. Any resistance patterns, drop them. There's nothing to hold back anymore. Stay balanced. Inhale and stretch. Hold the breath. Exhale, relax down. Interlock your arms behind your back. Stretch your arms up and your head and your chest lifting up. You're going to do breath of fire with your tongue out, curled. Your tongue is curled and you do breath of fire through your curled tongue. Do this exercise, close your eyes, breath of fire through the curled tongue. Find your own power now. Keep stretching your chest and your arms, lifting away from your body. Stretch your arms away from your spine. Create length in your spine. Open up your heart. Bending that spine. Channeling energy up your spine. The Kundalini is being directed. Work with the Kundalini energy. Your breath of fire awakens that energy. Trust in this energy now. It can do miracles for you. Inhale and stretch, hold, suspend the breath, apply root lock. As you exhale, float down carefully, relax your hands, let it go. Next exercise is Cobra Pose. Come onto your forearms or do the full extension. Whatever feels comfortable for you, I do the forearms. I don't like to hyperextend into my lower spine. So on your forearms or your full extension of Cobra Pose, you're going to keep your legs 
stretched, your buttocks activated, your shoulders rolled away from your ears, your neck long, eyes closed, looking up into your third eye point. The mantra is hum. Hum means we. It's for universal consciousness. It opens up the heart. It opens up the mind. It extends you into the universal energy field and connects us all. Stretch into Cobra for hum and relax down, hum. Stretch up into Cobra, vibrate hum aloud and relax down, vibrate hum aloud. Keep moving continuously with this mantra. Stretch up into Cobra and remember how to do the posture so that your spine is activating and the Kundalini is traveling. Breathe, connect and vibrate hum. It's all about rhythm. Your Kundalini responds to rhythm. It responds to mantra. It responds to the vibration of your thoughts. So what are you thinking? What are you feeling in your body? Think about how beautiful life is. Think about how much you have been given, how abundant your life is. Feel gratitude for that. Keep feeling all your power. Feel your vitality and your health. Feel your own energy. Think about your intention. Your intention for today's practice. Be crystal clear with that. To complete this exercise, inhale deeply and stretch up into Cobra. Apply root lock, mullabund, squeeze the rectum, sex organ and navel. Draw the energy up the spine. Hold, consolidate, exhale, relax. Roll over onto your back for deep relaxation. Let everything go. You've worked hard. This is where you just relax, Shavasana. Palms facing up to the sky in a receptive, open, relaxed pose. Just breathe naturally, just be you. Let your body melt into your mat. Physical can dissolve now. Heart is open to the divine. Receive all the blessings of Shavasana. You are surrounded by light. Absorb all that light into your being. Let your spirit fly out of the body to infinity. Coming out of Shavasana one step at a time. Wiggling the fingers and the toes. Breathe through your nose. Rotate your wrists and ankles. Stretch your arms up over your head. Come into a cut stretch, bend your right knee up to your chest, twist it across to your left side of your body. Come back to center, do the left knee, twist it across to the other side of the body. Breathe as you twist, awaken the body in a balanced way. Come back to center, rub the soles of the feet and the palms of the hands together vigorously. Stimulate the nadis, the nerve endings, 72,000 channels of energy, subtle energy channels. Switch those on, ground yourself, come back to your physical body. Hug your knees into your chest and draw your nose to your knees and then rock and roll along your spine. 
When you're ready, roll yourself back up. Come to sit in easy pose. Arriving back into this meditative pose. Easy pose, legs crossed. Spine long, shoulders relaxing back. Open up the heart. Lead with the heart now. Bringing the hands into prayer mudra, pressing the palms together. Feel the heart connection. Eyes rolled inward to the third eye, the pituitary gland switching on. Your brain, your higher centers are alive. Everything is awakened within you. Your kundalini has been activated. Now let's close our practice with one satnam. Take a deep breath in. So. May the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way on. Satnam. Thanks for practicing Kundalini Kriya. If you have any questions for me, I'm available on Facebook, Camilla Yoga, or on Instagram, Camilla. And find out about all my courses, my 10 day transformation, and my yoga detox, my retreats, my books, all on camilla.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and there's so many more in yoga school for you to master. Keep up with your daily practice, Satnam.